Good song, right? What if I told you that that song was created only by the use of artificial intelligence? Is this what performing music in the future could actually look like? Just someone standing on stage and playing an AI-created piece before an audience? Hello, everyone. My name is Christopher, and I am passionate about music. In these 19 years of my life, I've learned to play the piano, the guitar, and the drums, performing at multiple events. My journey started when I was a kid of the age of five. Clapping my hands together to have a sense of rhythm and singing Do Re Mi, thinking I knew a lot about music. But of course, this was all the basics before things started to get serious. Fast forward seven years into the future. I'm a 12-year-old kid around this tall. All right, fine, maybe this tall. And I don't know what other 12-year-old kids were doing at that time, but I was playing the piano. Specifically, practicing classical pieces on the piano. Chopin, Beethoven, Mozart, you name it. But before I would practice, I always made sure that the door to the piano room remained shut, allowing myself to make as many mistakes as possible without the fear or embarrassment of somebody else hearing me. But as I would play, I would slowly notice from the corner of my eye somebody opening that door. It was my mother. At that moment, I felt under pressure, as if a tiger was stalking its unsuspecting prey. I felt as though I had to play my best pieces to try and impress her, to show her what I could do. Yet, when I took a moment to stop and look at her, I saw the sense of pride in her eyes. That sense of pride that only a mother has for her own child. And this made me feel happy and appreciated. You see, back then, playing the piano was something normal to me. It was just like walking or talking. I later realized that I wasn't playing the piano anymore to try and impress someone, whether that be my piano teacher or my mother, but rather I was playing it to impress myself. And this is what developed my passion for music. Yet, with the perfection of AI-generated music and performances consistently on the rise, I really started to wonder, will the future generations even want to learn and play music? Will they feel these same emotions, that feeling of happiness when somebody else appreciates your musical works, that intrinsic feeling of getting better at playing something that you know takes years to master. But perhaps my deepest fear and wonder of them all was, will musicians ultimately be replaced by AI? I started to dive deep into this topic and found the answers to me to be a mixture of yes, no, and it depends. When we look at the performance aspect, for example, AI is already able to, well, perform and even animate digital performances of a song when just given an input audio. They can do this to the same extent as a human, better, flawlessly, with zero mistakes, perfectly. So why even bother? Why would I dedicate years of my life and time and effort into trying to learn something that I know an AI can do at the snap of its digital fingers? When we look at the creating side, surprise, surprise, AI can do this as well in a matter of seconds. Programs will analyze vast databases of pre-existing tracks and songs and thus create something new from it, doing it the same but better and faster. Curious about this topic, I asked my piano teacher, I got on a call with him, 
a renowned composer as well by the name of David Halajan, and asked him what he thinks of this. On one hand, the music industry sees many profit-churning opportunities lying ahead. For example, with creating background music for some small-scale advertisements, or even film scores for films, this can all be done with zero human intervention, saving the big corporations times and costs. But on the other hand, for the composers and musicians themselves, this could be the end for them. My piano teacher already said he's seeing the effects of this, and there's nothing the composers can do about losing their jobs. Now let me tell you something, writing songs is not the easiest thing to do as well. Let's say you come up with an idea. This is just the beginning of it. You work in it time after time, but at the end of the day, you have to scrap it because it goes nowhere. Maybe you decide to sleep on it. And in the morning, yes, you have something new. But you continue working on it and again it hits the wall and you scrap the whole thing, leaving you nowhere. Eventually you get somewhere. But AI? AI skips this whole process and creates something just the same, maybe even better. So when we look at AI as a competitor, we are a lost cause. So instead of looking at this as the end, why not look at it as the beginning? Because working together with AI will bring the musicians themselves and of course the listeners that listen to the music so many more benefits and opportunities. It can help musicians inspire and create something new when they hit what is called writer's block, the point where they do not know how to continue the song. It can help make music so much more accessible to the people that, well, do not have the right musical knowledge to create something. All you need is this idea and collaboratively, humans and AI can create something. Music can sound better and be created faster. I'm sure all of you know the Beatles, right? You know the song, Don't Let Me Down, where they would also in the music video perform on a rooftop, where John Lennon would play his guitar and sing his lungs out, I was always in awe. And even when the police came to try to shut it down, they even couldn't do anything and they decided to listen and enjoy. And you know, even 40 years after John Lennon's death, the lead singer, his music still lives on. And when I heard that Paul McCartney, a member of the Beatles, was using AI to extricate John Lennon's voice from a demo track that was never released and create a new song, which he calls the last Beatles song. This is amazing. And this is going to be released later this year. I'm sure all of you can listen to it as well. So after thinking about this topic, thinking about the pros and cons, I come back to my initial question. Will musicians ultimately be replaced by AI? Yes. Yes, they will. Perhaps the composers for some background advertising music or some film scores may not be hired anymore by big corporations. It depends. There's already a growing trend of people who show interest in AI-generated music only, and who knows where this trend can go. But no, musicians will not be replaced by AI. We have to remember what music is. We have to remember that music is a form of art, and art is a form of human expression. So when this human aspect is removed and replaced by some soulless AI, then this, for me, cannot be music. That human touch needs to be there. That connection between the audience and the artists needs to be there. Yes, AI can automate so many things, take over some laborious jobs, do things better than any human ever could. But when musicians all around the world just create something new, 
tell their individual stories, express their emotions, and perform in front of an audience, this will always be wanted and appreciated by humans. This will be irreplaceable. Artificial intelligence is a force for good, ladies and gentlemen. It will be used to enhance what we are already doing in our lives and make things better. And yes, it can create music by the book using some formulas and algorithms, but it will not stop humans from enjoying what we enjoy doing. It will not stop me from playing the piano to impress myself and to impress my mother. It will not stop me from jamming with my friends, trying to create a unique song together, even though we know it's going to go nowhere. And it will not stop me from writing songs for the woman that I love. Now, if I could go back into that dimly lit piano room where that 12 year old me was sitting and tell him something about the future, I would tell them two things. Embrace the change into AI, because nothing in this world is ever constant. And keep doing what you love, because nothing will ever take that away from you.